What's happening, guys? Uh, so I have this uh, PS2 that's kind of all mangled up, and it has no power, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna take this apart and go uh, through this similar to similarly to what I did with the. Um, Xbox in my previous video so I'm just gonna start taking uh, this guy apart I'm gonna go through what all the parts are in there so let's start off with opening this guy up there's these little caps here remove those it's pretty easy to take this guy apart so we have these little caps here opens up the screw open up the screws so we can unscrew it. metal not that it's worth much and I also don't collect uh, the scrap metal myself anymore since uh, or scrap steel I should sa I should say just because uh, I don't have the space for it so once you unscrew everything there's a little security tab here or sticker you that so you got a little power eject board here which should have some value uh, I've never actually sold any PS2 parts but uh, I'm definitely gonna try and see what happens so that's the jack power button which I just removed and seems to be working. I have another PS2 so I'll definitely gonna test this out. Piece of junk plastic can't really be used since uh, it's all busted. Memory card slot this possibly could be sold for something usually these small little parts I usually sell for like max eight bucks free shipping so at the end of the day you'll make about two three bucks off of them That screw. All right, so that gets the fan loose. That gets the power loose. There you go. That eliminates this piece of junk. Plastic piece. Let's see, so I have a power supply here on the bottom which isn't giving any power. It's a low grade board. I don't know if you want to bust it out, remove the, the aluminum. I used to do that in the past. 
take these out for my copper bearing uh, motor uh, file. Uh, doesn't seem to have any major issues, so maybe it's this fuse here or something that's uh, making it not work. But uh, like I said, I should have another power supply somewhere, so I'm gonna keep the motherboard intact so I could uh, test it out later. So you have low grade here. And let's continue with the scrapping. I have some steel. See this expansion bay door? You can probably sell this for a few bucks on eBay. So there, there's still some money in these in these old consoles. So it's not uh, when you get them, you should definitely check and see if anything's working. Some tiny screws. got all of those. There's the fan. There you go, the fan. I just removed it. Put it in my copper bearing motor pile. holding it. There you go. So, again some steel. And now we have the main board which uh, like all the other console boards you I usually sell as uh, <clears throat> peripheral so we got obviously gold in the IC chips you can't really see it here but maybe at an angle you can kind of see there's gold in here there it's not super easy but there's definitely gold in there obviously there's gold in the uh, the video connector gold in these guys here and let's see let's open this up the other side which should have the uh, CPU GPU stuff there you go dusty so got more chips to look at. Definitely gold in here. Some monolithic capacitors. I don't see any tantalum capacitors, but there might be some. And let's take off this pad over here. So right here we have the graphic card and obviously the CPU and these should also have uh, gold in them uh, what I do with these sometimes is I remove them and I put them in the IC pile IC chip pile or even uh, the processor <coughs> processor pile uh, I know at one point the guys at board sort took these out uh, from my IC pile and put them as CPUs so I guess uh, depending on who you talk to over there, these could be uh, put in the CPU pile or IC chip pile. So by removing them, you don't lose too much value on the board uh, weight-wise, and you'll get uh, what is it, about three bucks per pound on these. So it's not bad to uh, remove them if you have the time. 
I stopped doing it because I don't have the time. So there you go. So we also have some aluminum heat sinks over here. Not sure how easy they are to remove. There you go. Flathead screwdriver, you can get that stuff out. Nice piece of aluminum. And another piece of aluminum. So we got what looks like more steel, at least heavier steel when it comes to, compared to the Xbox. Uh, we got this guy here, which I'm going to sell on its own, but uh, if not, you can pop it into your uh, connectors pile or your gold uh, recovery pile. Got a media, uh, sorry, a low grade board. We got the jack buttons, and these might even have some silver in them. So again, depending on what you want to do, or how bad your console is, like if it was just drenched in water for example it might not be uh, worth selling <laughs> but uh, scrapping it and maybe getting the silver out of it if there's any obviously some ribbon cables we got the DVD board which uh, sorry not the DVD board but the DVD drive which uh, I'm guessing you could probably uh, you could probably sell if it's working. Like I said, this one didn't have any power, so can't couldn't fully test it. Then it was all beat up and broken, so I didn't bother. But you can sell this, I guess, as working if you know if it's working, or a scrap value would be uh, 15 cents a pound which is what they give at board sort. So uh, let me uh, bring in uh, my scale and uh, weigh some of this stuff up, see how much value there is in one of these uh, PS2 scrap value wise. So see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So I, uh, like I said, I tested the board. So the main board works, the power supply was dead, so uh, scrap wise, let's see how much this main board would be worth. So it's about a little more than 7 ounces. And on board sort, our peripheral boards are going for a buck fifty. So we're talking about this board, if it was dead, whatever, uh, really not worth fixing because uh, if you don't know how to repair these things, a technician would probably charge you 50 bucks to fix it. So you can probably buy a new uh, replacement PS3 for that price. So we have about 68 cents scrap value, but since it's working, I would sell it for about 20 on eBay free shipping, which would give me anywhere between... 10 and 15 bucks depending on uh, what state it's going to then we have the DVD drive which doesn't have a DVD board and the weight on this is 13.8 and if memory serves me correct they're currently going for 15 cents a pound on these So there's about 13 cents worth uh, of scrap value in, in this. Uh, it's probably dead. Most 
most of the ones I get, the drive is usually dead. Usually doesn't play uh, DVDs or something like that, or doesn't play both types of PS2 games. So we have this guy here, which would probably be sold for about five bucks or something. So we have one fan in this, so copper bearing motor, which I usually get about 12 cents for a pound. And we have 1.1 ounces worth, so it's not even a penny's worth. Not even a penny worth of scrap value there. Uh, we have the two aluminum heat sinks at almost 4 ounces. And I usually get 50 to 60 cents, we'll go with 50 cents. Be a little conservative. So about. 12 cents for these. And what's left is the scrap metal, or steel, I should say. It's all scrap metal, but <laughs> steel uh, to be uh, specific. I, I don't know why. I was, whenever I talk about steel, I call it metal. And st I, I don't know why. It's stuck in my head, I guess. So, about 1.3 ounces and Currently on board sort, they're paying three cents a pound. Oops, Sorry. A mistake there. So about three and a half cents for the steel, which I don't, which I don't collect. Because, uh, like I said in previous videos, I just don't have the space for it. And let's remove that. So, the dead power supply is about 7 ounces. And on board sort, low grade, they're giving 15 cents. So, that's about 6 cents worth. So, if we add all of this together, scrap value is probably going to be a lot less than the Xbox, from what from what it looks like. Yeah, so scrap value for a PS2, a fat one, would be about a buck o three. Uh, but like I said. Uh, since the motherboard is working, I'll get 10 to 15 bucks profit on that after I sell it and ship it. We'll eject doohickey and also the port. So we're talking about 15, we'll say about 15 to 20 bucks of value from the working parts. So test it, see what works, sell the working stuff, maybe make about 20 bucks, or scrap it completely and make about a buck. It's up to you. <laughs> so that's uh, my video on the PS2, or the fat PS2. Uh, if you have any questions, I always try to answer as quickly as possible. If you have suggestions, I've done videos based on suggestions. If you have comments, go ahead. I'm all for it. Like, subscribe, and I'll try to uh, make another video soon. See you guys soon.